everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I, I finally brought back Minho to the Target dumpster. We upgraded. <laughs> no, we were always behind there. No, we were at the Walmart one. That's where we get the, oh. the half-fiend egg rolls that no one wanted. And rotisserie chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but now we're getting boozy shit. We got Starbucks drinks and stale-ass cookies. Why don't we go behind, like, a Costco dumpster? Yeah. Isn't that better? You know what? That's a good point. Why have we never gone to a Costco? <laughs> Just get some, like, free chicken bakes and pizzas and yeah. hot dogs. We, we can make our own fake Costco card and then go in and get those free samples that they have set out. <laughs> I was thinking of just getting the thrown away food and reselling it to homeless people. And making $3.17 in a day. No, that is fair. Let's do that instead. I don't know why we're just eating behind the dumpster. <laughs> exactly. But enough dumpster talk. I found this, this little golden nugget behind the dumpster. And it's a book that we've read several times. This is the eighth time <laughs> that we've read this book. <laughs> It's the longest time. running book on the series so far. <laughs> Which, uh, the author did reach out to me, and they said that they loved it and whatnot. And they gave us a little tidbit that this, this, uh, our YN character, this OC, is British. So we get to make fun of British people now. I mean, I, I already make fun of them. <laughs> I mean, I already make fun of them. British? I guess so. But... Yeah, but they they loved it, so might as well continue it. This is, I mean, this is both of our favorites, right? This is pretty high up there on our list. Uh, I have no opinion on fanfics. I am not affiliated, but I will say <laughs> that this one has pretty good imagery. See exactly. And I I only look from a uh, a logical standpoint. You're telling me you wouldn't recommend this book to your friends and family? I- if I ever talk with family about fanfic, <laughs> I think that will be today. <laughs> it will be the final day of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the last one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna recommend this to all my friends, you know? I'm, I'm gonna recommend this to Sage, I'm gonna recommend this to Jolene, I'm, I'm even gonna give it to Heisen. I'm gonna print out the entire book and give it to him as a present. <laughs> Do it. I no, and I will. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're on chapter twenty-three, lingering ghost and whatnot. Uh, what the fuck do we remember from this plot? It's been f like months since <laughs> since we last read this book. <laughs> uh, it's like a slow burner. That's what I remember the most from it. Yeah, I think we officially got together with Harvey, but I might just be capping. <laughs> Who knows? I, I I feel like they got together, they like didn't, and then they got together and they didn't, and I don't even I I forget. Yeah, but what, it, what it's on right now? We uh, it's been a year since we lived in the valley, so Bill's known in the community, and there's some other shit going on. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. Maybe maybe we'll start yeah. getting the spark notes of this pretty soon. Yep. Yep. Anyway, I have a shiny quarter here. Do you want to be heads or tails? Mm, what year is it? What year is the quarter? Yes. It's a, it says 2003. Okay, yeah, it's going to be tails. Okay. So, uh, wait, wait. Uh, I'm going to go heads then. Okay. Man, it's heads. Oh, sorry. I can't read it. It's tails. <laughs> There's two choices, and you misread it. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. They're not even the same on the other <laughs> It's tails. Oh, my. I'm a new level of special. Alright. It's... What? Fuck, I already forgot. <laughs> what? Are you drinking? No, I wish I was. I have a peach tea from Aldi in my hands, but that's all I've been drinking. A peach tea? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, black tea peach. 16.9 fluid ounces. Mm. 
All right, I guess I shall go first. I think that was the rule. I don't remember. It's It's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I smell like turtle and and cleaner. <laughs> okay, not gonna ask. Yeah. As the first rays of sunshine gently filter through the curtains, you find yourself wide awake. There were several jobs you, that needed accomplishing before the sun went down, and you were, uh, insistent on completing them. I can fucking read. This is awesome. <laughs> the Isabella. Th Fiasco had been playing in your mind, but you refused to let it ruin your day. You swung open your front door, greeted by the cool warmth of the spring air before you. You knew you needed to water all your current crops and then begin tilling new area you had cleared out for new crops. As you made your way down the porch steps, you found yourself sneezing, the pollinated air tickling your nose. With the watering complete, you set your sights on the new area to clear out for additional crops. The soil laid exposed waiting to be transformed into f fertile ground. I got it. <laughs> fertile ground. You got it. You got it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not used to that word. <laughs> where, <laughs> where seeds could take root and flourish. You raised your hoe, ready to break the earth to prepare, prepare it for planting. You worked diligently, the sun climbing higher in the sky, casting its warm rays upon your farm. Time seemed to slip away as you immersed yourself into the task at hand, fighting solace and clear uh, clarity in the com I can do this. <laughs> the simple the simplexity of farming. The worries and uncertainties that had plagued you earlier faded into the background, replacing by the sense of joy from starting fresh. This is what you truly existed for. As you place, as you planted your final bag of seeds, you turned to see Harvey walking. Your, oh my god! Oh my! I miss this man. It's been forever. <laughs> we don't play Stardew Valley anymore. <laughs> we haven't read this book in a while. I get my man back. <laughs> a bouquet of flowers in hand. You quickly swoosh your hair out of your face and try to wipe away the mud and dirt from your hands and legs. As he stood before you, his jacket tailored to fit his figure flawlessly, you couldn't help but be captivated by his irresistible charm. The jacket clung to his shoulders, uh, as accentuating? Ascent, yep, yeah, uh, I think accentuating. Accent, yeah, accentuating. Fuck yeah, Phoenix can read. Awesome! <laughs> I haven't seen that word in a while, actually. Yeah. Sometimes you hear words and you can say them in your everyday life, but then when you see the spelling, you're like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Accentuating his broad frame, while the cut emphasized his uh, masculine features in a way that made your heart flutter. You look stunning today, Harvey spoke, his tone sincere with a con contented smile on your face. You reached out to brush your fingers lightly against the fabric of his jacket, straightening out the collar. It was a small gesture, but he seemed to be touched by it. You don't look too bad yourself, you replied, giggling. Harvey uh, presented you with the bouquet of freshly picked tulips, your favorite. I didn't know that was my favorite flower. Stop. <laughs> it is now. Yeah, I guess I gotta update that on my spreadsheet. I guess I like tulips. <laughs> <laughs> Camera likes tulips. I like mums. I think they're a cool kind of flower. I like, uh... I like morning glories. What the fuck do they look like? Hold on. Morning glories? Is that what you said? Yeah. Hold on, no. Hold on. Morning... Glories. It's like a flower that oh. in the morning and then it like dies in the afternoon. So Dude, it just survives. It like sprouts and then dies in like four hours every morning. And this is your favorite flower? <laughs> yeah, because it keeps dying. Damn, okay, okay, damn. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's a nice flower. Okay, I thought you were like being a little morbid like all of a sudden. And I'm like, damn, Minho, this is a turn. I, you're not like this. <laughs> <laughs> the delicate petals in various shades of pink, lilac, and yellow complemented each other beautifully. 
these are for you. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. What did, what did, what happened yesterday? We don't remember. Holy. We were in a coma for months. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is like when you open up your Stardew Valley save file after a while, and you're like, "Who are you?" And it's like you're like some random husband that you married, or like a wife. They're that's just in your house. <laughs> You somehow yeah. have kids, and you're like, well, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> his facial expressions seem to back up his words. Thank you, Harvey. Two of us are my favorite, he replied. The sincerity in your voice conveyed your appreciation, and you could sense his genuine regret in his, in his gaze. I also brought you these. Harvey pulled out a stack of hay fever tablets from his jacket pocket and handed them to you. What the fuck is hay fever? Is that just pollen? Wait a minute, is it- Wait, that's I a British so. term, right? Uh... I call it, like... I-, I Oh! It's like seasonal allergies! <laughs> also called hay fever. It's just a British thing. <laughs> I see. You know, I'm gonna make fun of Sage now, because I found out Sage is British, so I'm just gonna make fun of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess we have allergies. Oh, I get that makes sense, I guess. Oh yeah, we're in spring! Of course we have allergies in spring. I, f I, forgot, ah. about I forgot how the years work in Stardew Valley for a second. I forget that they're not, like, ours. <laughs> yep. My bad. <laughs> He giggled at his sweet gesture. You think of everything, don't you? You smile. Being a doctor, he anticipated your needs and made sure you were taken care of. Deep down, uh, you knew you didn't take enough caution when it came to your health, and Harvey knew that. Ever since your mine accident last spring, anyway. Harvey shrugged modestly. A sheepish grin played on his lips. Well, I wanted to make sure that you're okay, you re he replied, his eyes sparkling with affection. And I know how much those allergies can bother you, so I thought it would be handy to have these. You smile in response as you gaze over the flowers and tablets. What? Also, I love if we have seasonal allergies and we could have hay fever, I love that he gave us the flowers <laughs> that are known to spread pollen and cause <laughs> allergies in the <laughs> tablets. <laughs> Here you go, have some allergies. Yeah, it actually would have been better if he gave us the tablets first. Like, hey, can you just take one of these real quick? And then he just handed us the flowers. <laughs> just like in yeah. preparation. <laughs> exactly. Harvey sighed, his expression filled with remorse. I'm sorry, Bill, for the misunderstanding with Isabella. I should have been more sensitive to your feelings. Who the fuck is- it? Oh, yeah, oh, wait, it's the new hire. That's right, I remember. <laughs> wait, what? I they, uh, he hired some, like, one of his old, oh, what are they called? One of his old classmates to work at the, at the clinic. And we got mega jealous <laughs> immediately. <laughs> That's oh. right. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Harvey began tucking your hair behind your ear, slowly moving his hand down your cheek to caress it. His hands were strong and conf- and comforting to you at this moment. Please know that you're the only person I will ever want, he added. As Harvey spoke, his words washed over you, soothing the, the lingering doubts and uncertainty in your heart. The sun emulated his brunette sweeping hair, revealing the gold tones underneath. Isabella used to like me back in Zuzu City, but I rejected her. Oh, what? that's great. <laughs> that could change. I swear <laughs> to God, if that changes... <laughs> I swear, if we, if, in three chapters, if, if something horrible happens, I'm gonna cry, and I'm gonna blame this author for my heartbreak. <laughs> no, it's okay, there's like 20-something more chapters. Yeah, I think one of them is called Marriage, too, and I, <laughs> I, th I think, oh, uh, yeah, there was, because I got a notification for it, and I'm like, huh? Th th we're going too fast, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Harvey sighed, looking down at the ground. Your heart sank a little as you started to piece the puzzle together. I didn't reciprocate. But why? She's gorgeous, you spoke softly. My work is, was my priority. Harvey bit his lip as he continued. She wasn't my type. She was a party girl, preferred clubs to nights at home. 
She would get in trouble a lot with my supervisors. She didn't take it very seriously. How the fuck did she get through med school? Because that's... From what I know about, like, the nursing thing, if you get lower than a C, they kick you out of the program. <laughs> How the it fuck... It was, uh... This was pre-COVID. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, different standards. Different standards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If this was during COVID time, she would have aced this shit. She would have been on chat GBT <laughs> on the <laughs> side and then Quizlet and, and fucking shag up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, check. Yeah. And she, then she gets into the, the, the medical field and she's like, um, where the where the fuck is the joint at? <laughs> and you like, help, I'm I'm bleeding out. She's like, yeah, yeah, just get, just give me one second and she's pulling up Google. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that didn't go go down very well. No, it didn't. In fact, it ended up Getting her kicked off at the course. Oh, I was right. How the fuck did she? <laughs> and I assume that's what she's doing now. Yes, Harvey sighed as if he had realized that Isabella's presence was interfering with his personal life again. I just thought that you should be aware of that. Well, you're the one who introduced me as a friend. You added, remembering the initial hurt that. Oh yeah, that's right. And we blew a casket. I remember. Oh yeah, we oh, just. It. Dude, I, I remember it now. Like, we we just made it official, and then we went to the clinic, and he introduced us as a friend, and... <laughs> I think I almost threw something at Harvey. I did? I remember this. I almost did. <laughs> in my in, in my imagination. <laughs> I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> friend? <laughs> I didn't want him... A malicious atmosphere. I knew that she knew we were dating, she would get jealous. It was clear that he wanted to avoid any unnecessary drama or tension, considering Isabella's past feelings for him. However, you couldn't help but feel a twing of hurt and confusion to the situation. I appreciate your intentions, Harvey, you replied, trying to keep the, your voice steady, but I would have preferred to know about Isabella's history with you from the beginning. It would have helped me make sense of things to avoid any misunderstandings. I know. I'm sorry. Please, just let me make it up to you. Oh, is he gonna bring us on a hot air balloon date? <laughs> is, oh, is, sure. is this our uh, ten heart event? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Ten heart? Ten yeah, thing ten is? heart. He brings us on a hot air balloon and it's very romantic and cool and everything. Yeah, I did the Harvey route. I know this shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did that route, too. I, I know that one. Bro, when have you ever gone out with Harvey during any Stardew Valley playthrough? Oh, I do that every time. I Dude, don't know what you're didn't about. you go with Emily? <laughs> Emily, hell. No, Haley, right? Haley, hell no. Penny. No. Oh, Abigail, I remember now. No, it was with uh, the dog, Milo. No, you you went. No, I remember you marrying Abigail because I remember you were giving her rocks for her to eat. <laughs> nope, I married the dog. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I, I I made it. I don't allowed. think you We're should mod. do that. <laughs> <laughs> I modded, and I married the dog. What now? Oh, okay. Harvey's <laughs> <laughs> uh, expression. Harvey's expression softened as he placed another gent- oh, he- another? When the fuck did he place the first one? <laughs> another gentle kiss on your forehead. You nod and threw your arms around his neck, pulling him in for a hug. Harvey returned the gesture, holding tight to your embrace. Pulling away, you gazed down at the ground. I forgive you, and I'm sorry too for being so jumpy about this whole thing, you replied, sighing and meeting his gaze. I guess it all comes from my previous relationship, you added, recalling the times that you were left feeling lost and insecure in Levi's presence. Oh yeah, we have boy- we have trauma. <laughs> oh boy, trauma. Oh my- Hashtag relatable. Yeah, no, it's so relatable. <laughs> you would never need to apologize for that, Harvey began, gently caressing your cheek again. If I ever see that man- I- I don't know what I'd do. His tone sounded somehow angry as he shook his head. He had never realized how protective Harvey was until now. <laughs> he didn't realize- He didn't deserve to be put through that kind of hell. Harvey- Harvey's deep, hazel eyes seemed to be full of sorrow and guilt, as if he was to blame. 
He won't find me here, you reassured, leaning your head. I swear to fuck, <laughs> if there's a chapter where he finds us, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> if he what? If this Levi guy somehow appears in Pelican Town, I'm gonna cry. Oh, no, it, it's, it's gonna happen, I'm sure. Of it. Yeah, they alluded to him too much for us to not yeah, see him. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> too many yeah. references. Yeah, author, I, I read this shit. I, I read in between the lines. I'm on to you. <laughs> <laughs> if, even if he did, he began, a facial expression shifting. Some worth thinking about, you cut in, stopping him in his tracks. Harvey gripped t tightly, tightened slightly, his fingers tracing soothing circles on your back. I'll always protect you, he whispered, his voice filled with determination. Determination? Is this an Undertale reference? No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was literally gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, hold on, we have to save in our mirror so we're filled with determination. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, I'll keep you safe. So this is what a proper relationship was? It wasn't waiting up all night for him to come home, gone for wondering where he'd been? It wasn't asking him if you could go out whenever you wanted to go somewhere. It wasn't loving someone who wasn't fit for love in the first place. Go get dressed. Put on a nice dress. Oh, Harvey smirked. Why? You stared at him out of... Out in... Re retaliation? Yeah. Plus one. Yeah! <laughs> I'm taking you out on a date. Wait, is this actually- is this far from ground for the next chapter? Do we actually get to go in a hot air balloon? I, it probably is. I can read this shit! <laughs> God, I'm so good at this. Wow, you're- you're a genius. Yeah, I- I'm actually- I- I have a confession to make. I'm actually this author. Th this is oh my, my alt God. account. Uh, you made me read your book? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. You haven't yeah, had you. to read my fanfiction yet. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm just not going to, out of fear. No, it's not bad! I think. <laughs> okay, chapter 24. Uh, far from the ground. Go get dressed. Put a nice dress on, Harvey Smirk. He's British, right? Go get dressed. Put a nice dress on, <laughs> Harvey Smirk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that now. I, I can't. No, we're British. Uh, oh, oh, the main character is. Yeah. Oh, why? You stared out and then retaliation. I'm taking you on a date. <laughs> a smile crept across your face as Harvey's words caught you off guard. The tension of the earlier conversation began to dissipate, replaced by a sense of excitement and anticipation. Really? You asked, raising an eyebrow. And where might this mysterious date be taking place? Harvey chuckled, his eyes gleaming with mischief. It's a surprise. Just trust me. It'll be something special. Curiosity sparkled within you, and you couldn't resist the lure of an unexpected adventure. All right, then, you said, playing along. I'll get dressed and ready and back here in no time. What if the, what if the date was actually, like, in the mines again and they just got slimed and back to square one? God damn it. Not again. <laughs> That's why it's 46 or 47 chapters, however Yeah, we keep are. going back to first, <laughs> first base. <laughs> just get amnesia and just keep going into the mines and just get, get slimed. God damn repeat. it. <laughs> you hurried back to the farmhouse, Harvey waiting outside. You picked a pink floral summer dress to match the weather. As you slipped it on and glanced at yourself in the mirror, you felt your heart sigh. You couldn't wait to see what Harvey had in store for you. You quickly washed your hands and applied some mascara and concealer. Minutes later, you emerged from your room dressed in a chosen attire. Harvey's eyes widened as he took in your presence, a mix of admiration and adoration evident on his face. He reached out to straighten a loose strand of hair and let his fingers linger on your cheek. Ready for our adventure? The two of you strolled leisurely along the pathway that led to the train station enjoying the gentle breeze that rustled through the trees. As you made your way through the clearing, your eyes were drawn to a brightly colored object in the distance. As you and Harvey approached, the object gradually took shape, revealing itself to be a magnificent hot air balloon. 
Wait, I don't know why, but when I read that paragraph, <laughs> your eyes were drawn to a brightly colored object and then it was like a hot air balloon. You know, you ever go to those eye exams and then there's like a hot air balloon and like the little glass thing you look in? Wait, I, no, you I, don't have glasses, right? Yeah, I can't relate to you. I don't I don't have okay. prescriptions or <laughs> I have twenty twenty vision. <laughs> oh my god. What if I just gaslight I'm like, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I would have put two and two together, like three seconds later, like, wait a minute, she's never worn glasses. <laughs> you should show that to Cameron when we stream. He'll probably know exactly what you're talking about. I, I like, barely see him wear glasses. Like, what, what's his vision? Oh, shit, I don't know. He, he wears contacts and glasses. I know Are they, he, like, he's nearsighted. Glasses? Yeah, yeah, I'm nearsighted, too. Yeah. You can ask Heisen. Heisen wears glasses all the time. Oh yeah, I, I know that. Well, I know that one. But yeah. uh, it, does uh, does uh, Genji have like thick glasses? It's just like they almost look like reading you know glasses. This? If you didn't know he he needed them to see far, you would think they were like reading glasses. Oh okay, his vision's not that bad. Mine's like yeah. terrible. Is, are they like them. huge? <laughs> they're not like huge. They're just kind of thick, and. uh... I, I, uh, I'm blind. I'm actually blind without them. Damn, you, like, take them off and you're like, I can't fucking read shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and, uh, uh, okay. A mixture. <laughs> a mixture. Yeah, I was, like, reading the hot air balloon paragraph again. A mixture of surprise and curiosity washed over you, and before you could fully process what you were seeing, Harvey turned to you with a mischievous grin. grin. Take a flight with me? He asked, his voice filled with excitement. You blinked in disbelief, trying to process the situation. You you planned this, you stammered, your heart fluttering. Harvey's grin widened, his eyes sparkling with anticipation. Yes, I wanted to surprise you, he confessed, his voice filled with affection. But aren't you scared of heights? <laughs> Harvey smiled, his eyes filled with warmth. I know that I'm scared of heights, he said, his voice a lace of sincerity alongside a giggle. But sometimes people can give us the courage to face our fears, and being with you gives me that courage. Oh, that why, was why savvy. Is all his... Oh, that was pretty savvy. Yeah. Why is all his, uh, his, uh, dialogue bolded, but the main characters isn't? I think that's just how, I guess just to separate the main character from the rest of the town's folks. <laughs> the rest of the NPCs. Yeah. Can you imagine the plot twist of this of this uh, this whole fan fiction? Or like, like we get married and have a good time with Harvey, and then you see it fade out, and you see the pixels, and it keeps fading to like you playing the game, like with the <laughs> controller in your hand. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then the words of D and just flash across the screen. Yeah, or it's like we we put the game down and then go to bed, and we never come back to it. Yeah. And then we wake up in the Matrix, right? <laughs> we wake up in the back rooms. <laughs> oh god. He smiled, intertwining his fingers with yours. You made your way to the balloon. The vendor informed you of how the balloon worked, showing you the intric intricacies of the balloon's burner and basket. He reassured you about the safety measures in place and answered any questions you had, putting your mind at ease. The flight will be smooth and serene, the vendor explains. Are you ready to go? The vendor motioned for you to step into the balloon. Harvey held your hand tightly, clearly terrified of what he was about to do. Is it like canon he's afraid of heights? Oh yeah, this happens in the Ten Heart cutscene and everything. Oh, well, why does he... Does, doesn't he initiate this? Yeah. Well, what the hell then? <laughs> Sometimes you need to face your fears, you know? I think Cameron's scared of heights too, so I'm gonna throw him on a uh, hot air balloon as well. <laughs> Oh, I mean, like, I'm I'm scared of... I feel like everyone's scared of heights to some extent. Yeah. You're just, like, ten feet off the ground. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah. And then you're just on a freaking skyscraper with no support. Yeah. Are you scared all. of heights? I mean... I, I kinda? Are you scared of going on, like, an airplane? Or you get, like... Do you... No. Okay. I mean, that those are high up in the air. Yeah. But it's not the the fall that'll kill us if we 
crash. It will be like the explosion. So, you know, that puts my mind at ease. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mind. At, yeah, it's like, I won't die from the fall. I'm going to die from the explosion way before we hit the ground. <laughs> exactly. I'll disintegrate and I won't feel pain. Weehaw. Damn. <laughs> uh, the Okay, as the balloon gently began to rise, you held your breath, feeling a mix of anticipation and awe. The ground below started to shrink, and the surrounding landscape unfolded before your eyes in all its grandeur. Harvey had his eyes firmly closed next to you, shaking. Harv, you need to open your eyes, he spoke reassuringly. I, I don't know if I can, he replied, his voice trembling in fear. Trust me. You gently squeezed his hand. You don't sound so British. You must... sound fucking like Australian. <laughs> okay, well, you read that line then. No, because I'm going to do it Australian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mother effer. What is it now? Like, tr trust, trust me. Trust me, mate. <laughs> trust. No, oh, no, that's Australian. <laughs> Crikey. Mate. If you say mate, that's Australian. Yeah. So if we don't say that word, it's all British. You just gotta say bottle of water after end of every line, <laughs> and then it's British. Trust my bottle of water. <laughs> I'm just gonna oh, send he... this whole thing to Sage, you're gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly he mustered the courage to peek through his fingers, and a gasp escaped his lips. His eyes widened as he looked in the breathtaking view. The vast expanse of the valley, the rolling hills, and the meandering river painted a picture of unparalleled beauty. The colorful patchwork... Okay, I can actually tell that the author's British now because of how they spell colorful. I don't know how I didn't notice it before, but... What, with yeah. the U? Yeah, with the U. British. I bet they spell great with an E as well. Ugh. Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> can you American. <laughs> The colorful patchwork of fields, the green forest, and the quaint villages came alive from this bird's eye perspective. With each passing moment, Harvey's grip on your hand loosened, and he began to fully immerse himself in the wonder of the scene unfolding before him. The initial fear was gradually replaced by a sense of awe and amazement. The way the sunlight beamed onto the landscape, casting golden hues across the fields, was nothing short of spectacular. Dude, like I said, the imagery and detail yeah. is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Good job, author. Yeah. The feeling of floating in the air was both exhilarating and surreal. The silence enveloped you, broken only by the occasional sound of the burner, firing up to maintain the balloon's attitude. Al altitude. You couldn't help Did but be captivated. Did you the hot balloon's attitude? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's all hot and freaking. I don't Very know. Very sassy. Yeah, hot and sassy. And he's Freaking rising. <laughs> He's, uh, his attitude's rising up. I can't deal with it. You couldn't help but be captivated by the breathtaking panoramic views stretching out in every direction. This is... Oh, I'm sorry. This is something, you mothered. It's beautiful once you get past the fact that you are hundreds of feet in the air in a portable death trap, he replied, his voice seeming calmer than it was before, yet still uneased. You sighed in response, giggling under your breath. Bill, Harvey began. Yes? I'm glad I did this. Thank you for giving me the courage I needed. A smile played on your lips as you looked at Harvey, his eyes now sparkling with a newfound sense of adventure. You could see the gratitude and appreciation in his gaze, and it warmed your heart. No, thank you. This couldn't have been cheap. You beamed, gazing into his <laughs> gazing into his eyes. <laughs> I don't worry about things like that, he replied, taking your hand in his again, looking out into the horizon. Suddenly Harvey turned to you. This view is beautiful, and I'm talking about you. <gasps> what do you what do you rate that line? Out of ten. Ten. Uh no, that's bias. Nine. That was a bad one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even read the next line, and that was literally what I was thinking. God Holy. Don't make him make fun of my man right now. Uh, he said it himself. You, you're you disagreeing with him. Uh, you you fell into the trap, not me. <gasps> Fuck, you're right. What have you I done? Too. Nodding. Isn't it supposed to be, and I'm not talking about the view? I'm not a smooth operator, Bill. He sighed, a smile forming in the corner of his mouth. As you took Harvey's hand, you drew him closer to you, closing the remaining distance between you. 
your lips brush against his a tender and electrifying connection. <gasps> the <laughs> world around you faded away, despite how beautiful it looked, leaving only the two of you in that moment. As you eventually pulled away, a smile was spread across your face. Suddenly, the world around you suddenly came back into view. That's my favorite part of today. Oh my god, favorite with a U. Ah, these British people. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> You felt your heart flutter as you turned back to the view before you. As you started to rewatch the scenery, be scenery below, you saw the town reappear. Oh look, it's the clinic! You pointed as you slowly drifted by. Harvey peered over the edge to get a closer look, when suddenly his glasses slid off of his face and plummeted to the ground below. Nope. Oh, rip. That's like when your phone drops off a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> And you're taking pictures. <laughs> My glasses, Harvey exclaimed, cursing under his breath. Harvey squinted as he tried to place you in his vision. Hey, oh, you muttered. Well, looks like we have another adventure to go on when we get back on the ground, he said, trying to lighten the mood. They will most definitely be smashed. Luckily, I have another pair, Harvey sighed. You laughed as he squinted at you, trying to make out the scenery behind. Is Harvey nearsighted or farsighted? Or is he just like, part, like, he's blind, everything looks like a blur? He's probably near- I think most people are nearsighted, right? Actually, I don't notice that. Well, he's squinting to see us, and we're close to him, so I guess he can see this, this like, the scenery, but he can't see us. We just look like a bunch- like a bunch of, like, ripples. <laughs> Wait, 90% of Americans have either nearsightedness or farsightedness, with 60% having farsightedness and 30% having nearsightedness? Yeah, I guess the 10% is like, yep, you're, uh, you ain't seeing shit, dog. <laughs> Wait, I'm like... Wait, is nearsighted like you can't see far away? Yeah, because that... I'm nearsighted... like getting... Yeah. Oh, I get it confused all the time. So if you're farsighted, you can't see near you. If you're nearsighted, you can't see far away from you. Oh yeah, I did not know the majority of people are farsighted. That's actually interesting. I thought the majority of people were nearsighted. Huh. I, I guess know. that makes sense. When when you see old people get old, they have like reading glasses. I guess. <laughs> but th doesn't that mean they'd be nearsighted? I guess when their eyes are deteriorating and they can't see near them anymore. I don't know. I'm my eyes are uh, twenty twenty. I don't gotta worry about this shit. <laughs> yeah, f you. I mean, you know what? <laughs> you know what? <gasps> Bitch. Uh, as a hot air balloon descended, you guided it toward a, uh, towards a suitable landing spot near the train station. The ground glued closer, and you felt a slight jolt as the basket made contact with the earth. The balloon settled down, swaying gently in the breeze. That was amazing, you beamed, as you... Shoot, I scrolled too much. Oh, as you helped sightless Harvey out of the basket. Yes, if I could have seen the rest of it, he chuckled. Evening. You had led Harvey back to his apartment, where you managed to find his replacement glasses through his directions. Eventually, you made your way back to the farmhouse, hand in hand. As the spring evening winded down, you felt a wave of tiredness wash over you. Do you mind if I change... Do you mind if I change into my pajamas? Pajamas. Oh, these British people. Wait, is that exactly what it says? Paj is that not how you spell pajamas? Maybe it is, actually. No, I would spell it with an A instead of a Y. Oh, it is A, yeah. No, Americans spell it with A. Pa. Pajamas, not pajamas. <laughs> this is... Now that I know for a fact that this person's British, it, it just gives me more ammunition to use on stage. It, it's just to make fun of them for no reason. <laughs> Go ahead, he replied, smiling Will sprawled on out on the sofa, his shirt unbuttoned. You headed upstairs and rummaged around for your pajamas. You finally found them, your favorite pair. The set was a pair of shorts and a top. A dark red satin material. A soft fabric felt soothing against your skin as you slipped them on, embracing the coziness they provided. 
Returning downstairs, he found Harvey now sitting up on the sofa, sipping the wine he had brought with him. You the firelight. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, you know, I guess we're getting fucked up tonight. I guess. <laughs> you know, I was never a wine person. I don't know. Yeah, you know, you don't look like the type to drink. What? What? What's? What's your? Uh, what's your poison? Uh, uh cyanide. No, 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 I meant, like, alcohol. <laughs> Not that kind of poison. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, I feel like you like seltzer, like the, like, the seltzer drinks. Oh, no, I used to, actually. Mm -hmm. Actually, I could probably still go for them, but... Just, uh... Just, just like, a uh, Some straight liquor with ice or something. Well, like, whiskey, rum... Yeah, vodka. yeah. Oh, when I was, like, visiting my brother in Madison, he had, like, this really nice, uh, bourbon. And it was, like, he bought it because it was from the show. Um, it, like, it was shown, it was shown in the show, and it's, apparently, it's, like, hundreds of dollars. What, for, a collector's for this item? Little... No, it wasn't collector's. It's just some bourbon that he oh. paid, like, hundreds of dollars for. Jeez. And I was, like, all right, then. <laughs> and, uh, it actually tastes really good. My dad has one of those. He has like this, um, he's a big fan of like rock bands and uh, my aunt one year got him like this wine bottle with like Kiss on it and it's apparently worth like thousands of dollars now. He has never opened it. It's just been sitting in, in his like, in his man cave for the rest of its life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like Kiss had like, I, I know the band, but like what, they just had some commissions liquor or something yeah i will take a picture of it when i go over there sunday but it, like Does yeah it it's like, a yeah it has picture like the, of their face on it yeah it has like yeah it has the logo kiss like the four band members and it has like all the information about the wine and everything but it, it's still sealed unopened just just sitting <laughs> just sitting That's, next to other memorabilia <laughs> that is what i would do honestly big respect <laughs> i would never drink that it probably tastes like shit now. It was no, no. Cold. I, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think like liquors go bad. Can wine go bad? I think if you open it, it does go bad. But it's been sealed for years. <laughs> mhm. Mm Isn't like okay, like wine is just fermented grapes. So yeah, you know, if it goes older, is it is it gonna taste more bad? Is that how it works? Actually, yes, wine can go bad, but different wines can last different depending on the length of time. Unopened wine can last years if stored properly, while open wine typically lasts a few days. Some signs that wine can go bad include smell, taste, bubbles, color, and cork. Oh, bubbles. No, that's great. Yep. Imagine your wine's bubbling. Yeah. No, you just microwave the wine. That's how you get the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, champagne You're bubbles. Boiling it? Oh, I'm like actually curious about boiled wine now. I don't think or, you should do that. <laughs> or boiled liquor. No, we'll ask Heisen. He's he's the alcohol expert. He's he's like the certified alcoholic that we know. He'll, he'll probably know the answer to that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh, returning. I'll just reread this. Returning downstairs, he found Harvey now sitting up on the sofa, sipping the wine you had brought him. The firelight reflecting off of his glasses. His eyes followed as you entered the room. There's something incredibly comforting about changing into pajamas at the end of a long day. You mentioned sitting down next. To, oh, sorry, I didn't sit in a British accent. There's something incredibly comforting about changing into pajamas at the end of a long day. It's like you're trying to do a Peppa Pig impression every time that we you have to read for Peppa Bill. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Standing uh, around is boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, my, the accent's too forced. Well, yeah. you know, I don't get practice fit, so. You mentioned sitting down next to him on the sofa. Harvey nodded in agreement, his fingers absentmindedly tracing circles around on the rim of the glass. Suddenly, the atmosphere seemed to shift. Bill, I hope you don't mind. Hope I don't mind what? Your reply is puzzled by this half-finished sentence. Oh god, here comes the- here comes the smut. 
<laughs> Do I need to read now? There, yep, there you go. I, uh, I just skimmed through. I saw the words violently, kiss, jolt of electricity, overwhelming desire. Um, I, I got this shit. Let me move the mic close. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> no, I Actually, have to. You know it's what, a trademark. It. It. Okay. Just do it. Suddenly, Harvey turned to you, cupping your face, his lips colliding against yours violently. Your eyes widened in shock as his lips met yours. The intensity of the kiss sent a jolt of electricity through your body, momentarily leaving you breathless. You kissed back just as hard, pulling him in closer. Your hands found their way to his hair, treading through the soft strands as you pulled him into you, deepening the, the, the passion exchange. You fell back into the sofa, Harvey on top of you. It was as if time stood still, and all that mattered was the overwhelming desire that had ignited between you. I need you, Harvey whispered in your ear. Oh, I guess whis I'm not. <laughs> Yay! Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Well, I guess uh, we'll hold off on that. Does it actually read into smut? I don't know uh, if it I mean, does. I would not be surprised. That. I don't know. Anyway, how do you feel, man? Yeah, that's a book. <laughs> what do you mean that's a book? This is our favorite. It's my favorite. You can't talk shit about my favorite author. Alright, I won't. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax, my friend. Relax, my guy. It's just a drawing. <laughs> So you know I have to do that now all the time, of like, if I, if I love an author, I have to like, spat it to like, the top of the heavens and make sure that like, there's no wires being crossed so I don't get blocked by these people. <laughs> <laughs> I've already had that happen. I love the book and I guess I was being a little too silly during the book club reading and they blocked me. <laughs> Actually? What the? Yeah! That's hilarious. It's my favorite book. <laughs> It made me really sad because I couldn't revisit it anymore. Rip. So so now every time I like an author, I have to like shout it to the hills and say it several times throughout a video <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that like uh, no signals are being crossed, nothing crazy's going on. But uh, you know, no, I love this. I can't wait to read more. I can't wait to have twenty parts of us reading this before we finally finish it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one piece. Yeah, <laughs> it's a one piece. <laughs> We're gonna finish this book before we find the one piece in 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 the show. <laughs> or better. Yeah. All right, you ready to spin the wheel and see what we get? All right. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> yes. All right. We have our we have our spring wheel. We have a lot of options. Some good. Uh... Some not great. <laughs> this yeah the options are windowing down so soon we'll be done with all this <laughs> hopefully nothing bad is is the suggestion I said nothing bad God <laughs> what are you talking about this is nothing bad yeah I guess you got a point this it's not that bad <laughs> not it's one of the greatest it could be worse. We could be breeding a hero of our next reader. That that could be the possibility that we bestow upon ourselves, but it's not. We're fine. <laughs> no, no, that's the second greatest. That's, are we on the same page as what is great in, in Wattpad Book Club? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm sure. We're gonna, at the end of this, we're, we're gonna have to do a tier list, because I need to make sure that our opinions are the same <laughs> at the end of this. Herobrine SS Plus, alright. Oh, shit. Mark that right. down. Yeah, and then obviously the Shane X reader goes in. I don't know F tier because <laughs> it's yeah, Shane. B, B plus, yeah. B plus. <laughs> and then all my suggestions they they go in R -B -F. S tier. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> yep. We don't we don't agree on this. He I, he does not represent me. <laughs> <laughs> I want him fired. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining, Minho. I I appreciate your your British accent and your opinions throughout this entire thing and this commentary that we've done. You know. Of course. Yeah. Now now you practice your British accent. Now you can do it on stream today. <laughs> nope. 
Wait, you say no? <laughs> nope. Damn. Alright, well, on screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad Book Club readings that I had done, including the last one that was uploaded at some point, so I, I don't know, check that out, I guess. I don't know, I'm not gonna make you. That, that's a lot of work to advertise. <laughs> What's up? Anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye. Bye.